In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add content to your sample site. Um, I've gone to sites.google.com and I am using Chrome and I am logged into my Google site so that I can access my content. And as you just saw in my little uh, movements there, I've logged into my site and I've opened the home page. Now, over here on the right hand side, I've got my insert menu. I've got pages and themes. And today we're talking about inserts. And while there aren't a lot of different types of things I, I can insert here, there are plenty of things I can do to get started. The most basic thing that I can use is a text box. And in order to insert a text box, I'm going to simply click on it here and notice that it immediately drops it into my site. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, move it around. I can move it in terms of any location here. Notice that if I hover on top of it, I get a quad arrow and that means I can drag it to a different position on my um, page and it will always snap to my grid lines. So if I take a look at this, I can see that it's always going to snap to my grid lines. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and drag that back a little bit. I'm going to add some sample text here and I can hit enter and I can add um, more sample text here. And I'm going to pause this video and actually add some uh, true content text here. Hold on. Okay, so now what I have done is I've gone ahead and added some placeholder text into my block so that I can play around with this. The first thing I want to do is show you that I can actually manipulate the text within this box. Notice that if I highlight this, I have a drop down and I can choose that this could be a title. I could choose it to be a heading or I can choose it to be a subheading. Those are the uh, three of the four choices. The fourth, of course, being simply normal text. So I could go to normal text. I could go title, etc. Um, the bigger thing is that when I come into my themes and start designing this, I can start to see different types of things over here. The other thing I can do here is I can choose my alignment and that allows me to uh, align my text and I can also hyperlink my text. I'm going to show that to you here in a different uh, kind of situation. But now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, drag that text box out. So now that becomes a full uh, text size. So um, that is going to uh, do some very straightforward kinds of insertions. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to show you uh, again, if I were to come back over here to the right side and click on text box, it's going to drop a text box in there. This time, however, I'm going to drag it on top. I'm going to show you that I can drag these basically to the left, to the right, and to the top. And let me just see what it looks like if I drag it to the left. And here it is over to the left side box. And I'm not going to um, do a lot of text here because I, um, I'm just doing this for a tutorial. But one of the things to bring this into line, I'm going to go ahead and highlight that and I'm going to call that a title. Unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily um, line up very well with the right hand side. But you know, the truth of the matter is, is that I probably wouldn't want it to be huge, mainly because that visually detracts from this chunk over here. So I might then do a subheading and let that stand um, in that fashion. Um, I noticed here that when I'm dragging and dropping, there are these little uh, smaller spaces and those kind of set up your gutters or your blank spaces between elements, which is kind of automatically very cool. Um, and that is all there is to adding some um, text boxes. But I am going to move forward in terms of um, adding some decorative elements um, in here. But before I go, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and show you how to add a hyperlink. So I'm going to highlight some text and this could be part of my title. It could be part of my text. I'm going to highlight this particular sentence 
And notice that as soon as I do, I have an insert link. As soon as I do that, notice that I can add a hyperlink to one of my existing pages down here, or I can add in um, a link and I'm going to be very verbose and add in a link to google.com. I can go ahead and apply that and I'm going to go ahead and publish it. And I'm going to go ahead and view my published site. And here I can tell that this is a hyperlink and indeed it works. So that's um, the basics of how to add very simplistic sample or text boxes into my sample site. The next thing I'm going to do is speak uh, to a couple of other elements that I can play with here in Google Sites. So I'll see you in a moment.